This is another photography lecture for J. Mill. In this lecture, J. Mill will be lecturing on the telephone and other photography. He will also be lecturing on the in this on the point shoot J. Mill will be lecturing the point shoot camera and he will be he will be showing us all the images like the you know uh their point um, shoot. When the two and two panels will be point and shoot images. Now, with the point and shoot images, they're very, they're, 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 they're quite simple. They're doing three steps and two, and there's options and there's images on, on camera. Now, you can use the point and shoot images on the very, very, and the telephone distance is very important to put on the use of the distance. There's options and images for like on the distance image you will be using for like the distant image and you will be using it in like a simple on on a and you know okay and um and a big scene and image on top of like the distant image you put on top of the on top of the distant on top of you got me scared on top of the 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 like taking pictures of like on top of the top of the top of the session or some type of other as a field scene some other astronomic. Over the last one, I'm going to picture for us when I'm going to go on the cosmos, right? Apple Spice, or FS. So, on the astronomic. Okay, so I'm going to go to the astronomic little slang shirt on the telephone lens. For the cosmos, right? As the telephone lens, we got so we got um, the Olympus camera. So, first, let's try the meal. On the Olympus, for this, for this, for this lens shirt, we got. Um, got, um, we're using the, the Olympus camera. Now the telephone lens is uh, the Olympus is a for this uh, is a hundred is a shoot. Um, it's a five is a using the second hundred camera. Now the other lens is so if this camera is a hundred is a it's a five is a five is a four hundred. Now we so have this camera on so with this camera you can get. With this, so with this camera, um, you can get a pretty, uh, you can get a pretty uh, um, advanced okay, image uh, of the moon. So with this camera with the telephone, and, um, you can get a pretty, uh, very simple to use. Um, as you can see, advanced image. Um, advanced. First of all, you need a file button. First, first you need a file button. It's very simple to use on the levers. As you can see, uh, and you need to uh, you need a pretty first of all, a pretty um first first you need a tripod a uh, good and better. Um, you need to uh, you need you will be taking quality images. Um, you will be taking uh, you will be taking quality the uh, quality photos um, of the um of the uh, you will be taking quality images. In your you will be taking quality images. You will be So that so that's the tele so so that so that's the telephoto lens. Now, for um point and shoot lens, um is very simple. You got you got options. Now you can not take a motion lens, um but for that you you got a bulb. And you got a preset to hold. You you hold you hold the flash for a set. You hold the flash. So you, yeah, you do. So yeah, and and as motions going like lights, um, that's when you get uh, that's when you get an image. You know, you can see the motion. And if something stays still in front, if something stays still in front of the motion, you come out with a pretty. You come out with a pretty. You come out with a pretty, um, you come out with a pretty, uh, cool, um, uh, point and shoot, um, you know, image or, uh, you come out with a pretty good, something cool, you know, some, something cool. And, um, so this is the point and shoot, uh, the Olympus. Now I have a, I have a lens, I have a lens adapter to my, I have a lens adapter to my own, to my, to my original lens. Okay, I'll take. So this one is a, a micro lens. I 
think that's like wide angle. So. A wide angle is like, um, it's horizontal, you know, some people, t it's the opposite of like a portraiture. Okay, so. So this is my, this is my Olympus camera. Now you could do a point and shoot. Uh, you could, it's a, I mean, it, this is my Olympus camera, okay? Now when you, um, when you, when you use, uh, when you're using the Olympus, um, when you're using the Olympus, the way you, the way you do a point and shoot is you gotta, you gotta like, come up, right, and then click, right, and then you take the photo. Now you have to be, um, you have to be at a, you have to be at this distance, pretty, you have to be at this distance, okay, to take the, to take the photo. Now if you're at this distance when you take the photo, it's not going to be, uh, it's going to be blurry, and whatever is in front, basically whatever is in front of the camera, whatever is in front of the, basically whatever is in front of the lens, basically whatever is in front of the lens is, um, basically, Basically, whatever is in front of the lens is whatever is in front of the lens is is um not blurry, and whatever is uh whatever is um behind what's in front of the lens comes out blurry. So, like if you ever seen a uh, if you ever seen an image of like trees, you'll notice how you know um if the lens look like the you'll notice how if the lens is at like like my lens has has around a, a forty millimeter. So if the lens is at 14 millimeter, if the lens is at 14 millimeter, um, then the f the further the further the trees is gonna be is gonna be more clear. But if the lens is at like a 40 millimeter, then the closer then the more the the more in front of the trees you are, the more clear. Okay, so that does it for the telephoto lens, and that does it for the point and shoot. Um, okay, um, I'll, I'll see you, uh, see you on, um, until next lecture. Until next lecture.